hey everyone welcome back to another video for today's video i'm going to be doing my last bath and body works haul for the year 2023 so we are at the end of the year it's crazy to think that we are done with one year and we're about to move into a new year so i did place an order it during the last body care sale day that they had and i wanted to share the scents that i picked up with you guys so with that said let's jump right into today's video so i hope that you guys are doing great today i am doing my last few videos of the year today before i head out to miami for a week vacation i'm super duper excited about that but i did want to film a little bit more content so that i can carry it over to the end of the year so i did place an order during the body care sale day at first i just ordered a few things that i wanted to pick up that i've had before and i just wanted back in my collection and then i just went ahead and picked up the scents that were released which I believe some are like older scents that were brought back after many years and there's also Meet Me in Miami which I don't know if that one's a new one or if it's released from previous years as well but I am going to start off with this first one which is just a restock. I always have had this in my collection ever since I was like 13 years old I have been using warm vanilla sugar so I wanted to pick up another set because I think before I left Puerto Rico, I think I gave that one away. And I do miss this because I do like to use warm vanilla sugar to layer with fragrances like Taunt from Dead Cool, like Philosophy, Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, MAC Creme de Nude, those types of scents i always love to layer with warm vanilla sugar so this is the packaging that they currently have for warm vanilla sugar which i absolutely love because it's just it reminds me of like a coffee there's glitter and different shades of beige and brown so i think this packaging is super duper pretty and the notes for warm vanilla sugar are intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood so i know this over the years has gotten a little bit weaker this used to be one of those fragrance mists that i would put on and it would last me the entire day bath and body works back in the day did not play like their quality was amazing i remember just using a body cream i would smell it the entire day and Warm vanilla sugar is just, it's always going to bring back memories. It's like a brown sugar, warm vanilla scent. It's not too gourmand. And I do like the florals that are added in here because it does give it a little bit of like a perfumey touch instead of it being just like a straight up gourmand vanilla scent. So I'm very happy to add this one back into my collection. That's just like a restock for me. And then this little one, I don't think I've ever had this. But since I have been getting into more like chocolate perfumes and things like that, I thought that this would be good to have even though it's a travel size. But this is the Hot Cocoa and Cream. So I picked up one of these just to have it because I think it would make a great layering mist for Choco Musk. There's also that new Double Attack from Mind Games in my collection, which is a chocolate scent or Sweet Tooth from Sabrina Carpenter, things like that. I think this would be like really nice to layer. It smells like you opened up those little packets of hot chocolate, so it's a little powdery. So this has notes of decadent milk, chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. That's literally what you get with this. This is for gourmand lovers for sure, and I feel like this layered with those chocolate scents that I mentioned would be so, so good. So I'm happy to add this small one to my collection. And for January, I am planning to get into a few more gourmands again. So I this is definitely going to be one of the layering combos that I'm gonna be doing because it just smells so cozy and perfect for winter time. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the ones that were released. Some of them were from previous years, which I've never tried, so they are new to me. So I'm going to start off with Meet Me in Miami, which I'm not sure if this is a new release. You guys will let me know. But this one, I wasn't going to pick it up because I just, I don't know, I felt like it was a little odd this time of the year, but then I thought, okay, maybe when spring and summer comes around, it would be perfect for that time. So here is the packaging for this one. Really cute, it has like 
very tropical looking packaging, very Miami for sure. You know, I'm just a mutt, okay? I am a Chicago girl because I was raised in Chicago, but then at 10 years old, I went to Miami. So I am also a Miami girl and I'm Puerto Rican and I've moved all over the place. So Miami is my home as well. That's where my family lives. So when I saw Meet Me in Miami, I was like, okay, this is probably gonna be tropical. It's gonna be fun. So the fragrance notes for Meet Me in Miami are breezy palm trees, cabana coladas, and suntan dates. So this one smells good. It smells good. The first few times I sprayed it, I was not in the mood for it. I was just like, ooh, this is like sunscreen. But there's something very, very, very sexy about this. It makes me think of when, you, when you're kind of tanning like by the pool and that kind of smell of a little bit of sunscreen is mixed with the water and the warmth of the sun. <sighs> It does, it smells really, really good. For summertime, I feel like this is going to be it. So I'm glad that I picked it up. I wasn't going to, but they were like $4.95, I believe. So I just went ahead and just placed an order with them. So it is described as book a trip to Miami with a fragrance that whisks you away to poolside cabanas and vibrant days in the Florida sun. That's super cute and smells really good. It has like this sweetness also in it, but it's not too much like a creaminess i would say it smells really nice and sexy and i think for a summer day this would smell really really good next up we have carried away which i also was not sure about this one but i picked it up just to give my thoughts on it this is one that i'm definitely going to be gifting forward because it's definitely not for me it doesn't smell bad at all here is the packaging for this one very girly pink and blue reminds me of like cotton candy and this one has notes of lush raspberries juicy pear nectar white jasmine and whipped vanilla so this one i just feel like it's way too young for me it's if you like sweet pea from bath and body works this is that type of scent. It's not a dupe for it. They don't smell the same, but it's that type of, I mean, it smells really, really good. Like it's juicy, it's flirty, it's fruity. I definitely pick up the raspberry mixed in with the pear. So it's like literally like dripping juiciness in here. Sweet, sugary, but it just smells really, really young to me. Like super playful, very young, perfect for like a teenager that's starting off like wearing fragrance mist and things like that. I just don't feel like I will be reaching for this one so this is one that i'm definitely going to be gifting to someone in my family it is cute it's girly it's fun if you need something to layer like your fruity scents with or raspberry fragrances it will work but let's say you have like a very sophisticated a little bit more grown raspberry scent that one will definitely give it a more youthful young playful vibe so i feel like i'm not really going to use that one now this next one i do love it's gorgeous i think like it's perfect for bedtime it's perfect for literally just waking up and spraying this on because it's just like one of those skin scents just really nice this one is called lovely dreamer so here's the packaging and i love the packaging of this one it reminds me of i don't remember if it was among the clouds or one that was released that kind of reminded me of of like an ariana grande perfume it was like a year or two ago but this is different. I, From what I've heard on social media, this has not been released for years. So I know I didn't try this one because I got into Bath & Body Works again, like super hardcore, I would say like three years ago. But there was a gap where I always just bought like the same things and I didn't really discover or look into different scents in there. So I'm sure I never tried this one. But this one has notes of fluffy musk clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. And it says, look to the sky and watch the clouds float on by. Days like these are made for dreamers. Oh, this one is musky. Oh, this one is so good. This one is perfect, especially for upcoming spring because you know, the holidays are gonna be over soon and then in a blink of an eye, it's like, everything spring this reminds me of something i have like a perfume that i have it's musky it's soft it's a little powdery there's a sweetness in it i'm so happy i got this one and even though it's soft i feel like it would add such a nice touch 
to pretty much any like powdery soft fragrances in your collection like i would love to pair this with clean reserve skin for some reason i'm thinking of that they would probably smell so good together so it's just as it says it's a fluffy musky soft a little sugary powdery and then the bergamot is definitely there and i love when bergamot is added into scents because it just adds like this little burst of a brightness and it just makes it smell so so yummy so this was a win for me. So Meet Me in Miami will be one that I will be using when it gets warmer. And then this one I'm probably going to start using like ASAP because it just smells so good for like just every day. Like it just smells soft, second skin like girly, but not too girly, powdery. I love it. Easy to wear, easy to pick up. You can wear this every day very, very easily. So that is my quick and last Bath & Body Works haul for the year. I'm not sure if I'm going to be participating in the SAS sale. I am going to be with family, even though every time that I go to Miami and I stay at my in-law's house, usually the day after Christmas, I usually end up going to the mall with my husband and my sister-in-law and we always somehow end up inside Bath & Body Works. But I don't know, I've bought a lot of body care from the collections that were released. So I don't think I'm going to need anything unless they release like scents that I would be excited for, like surprise releases, which they have not been doing that. I do remember about two years ago or almost three years ago, their SAS sale was on and pop and they were just releasing like older stuff they were releasing scents that were just like ones that we were like super excited for and it was worth it but i feel like the latest ones i just haven't really been excited for so we shall see what sas brings this year but if for some reason i do go shopping then i will have a haul in the beginning of the year so i want to wish you guys a very happy new year we made it to the end of 2023 and like i always tell you guys i wish you nothing but health and happiness those are just like the most important things family health that is just over everything else in this life so thank you so much for your support i will never get tired of telling you guys thank you thank you thank you for always being so supportive and kind and sweet that's going to be it from me today so i hope that you guys enjoyed this quick bath and body works haul give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that we can hang out in the future and with that said i will see you guys in the next video